Hi there! In this video, I'll guide you through the essentials of creating proposals in Anchor, designed to elevate your deal value and ensure your payments are secured right from the start. Anchor proposals not only allow you to offer tiered pricing packages and a variety of optional services in a sleek, mobile-optimized format, but also requires your client to add a payment method as they sign. Your clients can choose between free ACH or credit card with the fees paid by the client by default. Note, the payment and agreement setting defaults can be saved in the business details. Click on Create Proposal to jump into the builder. Let's start by defining the agreement name. For example, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, California. We have another agreement with that client in another state. Therefore, the name of the agreement helps me differentiate between the two. Don't worry, you can edit it if needed. Next, select the client for whom the proposal is intended. Then define the date on which the agreement will take effect, known as the effective date. On acceptance means that the proposal takes effect the moment the client signs it. If you've already started work for this client, you can choose on a specific date and backdate this proposal. You can also choose a future date if you don't want this proposal to take effect until then. Last for this section is the introductory message. When the proposal is sent, Anchor uses automated messaging that shows up in the email your client receives. We have customized messages for new and existing clients. If you want, you can add a fresh message here. That's the initial setup. The next section outlines the services you provide. Select templates from your library and customize them directly in the proposal for this particular client. For example, add a discount or change the description. You can add as many services as you wish with different billing times and options. For automatically billed services, you can specify how the services will be billed at the beginning or the end of a billing cycle. We set up the service to be billed up front on the 10th of each month, meaning the billing period will be between the 10th and the 9th of the following month. Let's review the advanced settings of this service. You can select from the following. Do not start automatic billing, which will pause auto billing. You will need to activate it from the billing hub once the proposal has been approved. Prorate this payment. This allows the first payment for this service to be calculated in proration based on the approval date of the proposal. Mark this service as optional. When selected, the service will appear separate from the other services. Let's open the client preview to look at it. With this capability, you can offer additional services your clients may find useful. During the proposal review process, the client can decide if they'd like to include these services or not by simply toggling them on or off. Bill a limited number of times, to place a limit on the number of times a service can be billed. For manually billed services, there is no need to set billing cycles, only a date when it gets billed. You can also create up to three packages for your client to choose from. Based on how you want your proposal to appear, you can move services up or down and give your packages descriptive names. We now have three packages two of which include optional services, and a third that contains all services without options. Our data suggests that the mix of packages and optional services is a great way to upsell and increase your proposal's value. Prices and discounts can be adjusted per service to make one option more appealing than others. In the payment settings section, you can define the net terms. One of the greatest advantages Anchor offers is that by default, your client will pay the credit card processing fees. If you prefer, you may cover those fees yourself. You can choose if your client can approve the agreement without providing a payment method. They can always add a payment method later from their Anchor account. And finally, check this box if you want your client to approve each payment manually. To make sure your payments are automated, we actually recommend using this option only in specific situations. In the agreement settings, you can upload your own terms and conditions or choose Anchor's complementary default ones. Once a proposal is approved, it becomes a live agreement that can be edited at any time. When you make amendments, for the most part, your clients will need to approve them. 
If you want to make sure that the changes that you make go into effect, we recommend that you use the Enable Amendment auto approval with a notice period. By checking this box, you can specify a notice period before changes take effect automatically so that your client won't have to go into Anchor and approve them. If you select 14 days, for example, changes will take effect automatically 14 days after the amendment is made, unless declined by the client. If you have any additional notes to share, you may add them here and even embed links to external resources. Once you're done, you'll just click the send button over here and the proposal gets sent out. If you go back and don't send it, you see it saved in drafts. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps you get started quickly. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.